Hello everyone. Welcome to English Arcade. In this video, we will learn and practice multiple choice questions based on the chapter The Last Lesson by Alphonse Daudet. For all our dear friends and viewers who have missed the video on the detailed explanation of this chapter, please find the link in the description box. The author of this lesson, Alphonse Daudet, was a French novelist and a short story writer. Let us look at multiple choice questions based on this chapter. Question 1. Who is the author of the last lesson? A. Kamala Das B. Louis Fisher C. Alphonse Daudet and D. William Douglas My dear friends, the correct answer is C. Alphonse Daudet. Question 2. The Franco-Prussian War took place in 1840-1841, to 1870-1871, 1870-1971, 1970-1971, and 1945-1947. The correct answer is B. 1870-1871. Question 3. What was M. Hamill going to question France about? A. Participles B. Adjectives C. Pronouns D. Articles And the correct answer is A. Participles Question 4. Why was France reluctant to go to school? A. Wanted to enjoy warm sunlight B. Wanted to see soldiers drill C. Wanted to enjoy outdoor. D. Was late and had not prepared the lesson. The correct answer is D. Was late and had not prepared the lesson. Question 5. For the last two years, where did all the bad news come from? A. School. B. Bulletin board. C. Woods. D. Town hall. And the correct answer is B bulletin boat. 6. What do the marching soldiers under the windows represent? A. The dawn of Prussia and the defeat of French people. B. The defeat of Prussia. C. The victory of French men. D. Defeat of the Germans. And the correct answer is A. The dawn of Prussia and the defeat of French people. 7. Don't go so fast, Bob. You'll get to your school in plenty of time. Identify the speaker of this line. A. M. Hamill B. Watcher C. Hosser D. Bob And the correct answer is B. Watcher 8. Don't go so fast, Bob. You'll get to your school in plenty of time means He was A. Getting late B. Very late C. Early enough. D. Too early. And the correct answer is C. Early enough. 9. What was untrue about the school that day? A. Unusual silence. B. Solemn atmosphere. C. M. Hamill was in his fine Sunday clothes. And D. Uninterested students. The correct answer is D. Uninterested students. 10. What was Franz banking on to enter the class as he was late? A. M. Hamill's teaching on the blackboard. B. Commotion in the class. C. Will enter from the back door quietly. And D. Backbenchers. The correct answer is B. Commotion in the class. 11. Who sat on the backbenches on the day of the last lesson? A. Franz. B. Prussians, C. The village people, D. The new master. And the correct answer is C. The village people. Twelfth. Who all were not present in the class that day? A. Former postmaster, B. Village elders, C. Former mayor, D. Former blacksmith. And the correct answer is D. Former blacksmith. Thirteen. 
What was unusual about M. Hamel's dress? A. Wore clean clothes. B. Wore a new outfit. C. Wore clothes that he would generally wear on prize days. And D. Wore traditional French clothes. The correct answer is C. Wore clothes he generally wore on prize days. 14. For how many years had M. Hamel served the school? A. 20 years. B. 30 years. C. 40 years. D. 50 years. And the correct answer is D. 40 years. 15. M. Hamel is introduced as a ruler wielding teacher. This demonstrates that A. He is concerned. B. He is adamant. C. He is unfeeling. D. He is a hard task master. The correct answer is D. He is a hard task master. 16. What a thunderclap these words were to me. The expression thunderclap in the lesson means A. Loud but not clear. B. Loud and clear. C. Startling and unexpected. D. Unpleasant and expected. And the correct answer is C. Startling and unexpected. 17. Which districts came under the Prussian rule? A. Elsace and Berlin. B. Berlin and Lorraine. C. Elsace and Lorraine. D. The southern districts of France. And the correct answer is C. Elsace and Lorraine. 18. Why did the villagers come to the class that day? A. To complain. B. To take shelter. C. To learn German. Or D. To show gratitude. And the correct answer is D. To show gratitude. 19. What made France forget M. Hamel's ruler and his crankiness? A. Police patrol. B. Strange silence. C. The idea of his going away. Or D. Presence of village elders in the class. And the correct answer is C. The idea of his going away. 20. What did M. Hamel bring for his class on his last day in the school? A. New notebooks. B. New pens. C. Storybooks. D. Sweets. And the correct answer is A. New notebooks. 21. Dash is the key to their prison. A. Patriotism. B. Courage. C. Unity. D. Language. And the correct answer is D. Language. 22. Which human tendency does the last lesson highlight? A. Male chauvinism. B. Procrastination. C. Manipulation. D. Covetous. And the correct answer is B. Procrastination. 23. Why does M. Hamel blame the parents? A. They did not come to M. Hamel's class. B. They were strict. C. They preferred children to work in farms. D. They did not come to meet M. Hamel. And the correct answer is C. They preferred children to work in farms. 24. Franz was able to understand the grammar lesson easily because he was A. Receptive B. Appreciative C. Introspective D. Competitive And the correct answer is A. Receptive 25. M. Hamel emerges as a dash when he teaches his last lesson. A. Meek person B. True patriot C. Repentant man D. Defeated man The correct answer is B. True patriot 26. What does the last lesson signify? A. Change of power B. Change of government C. Change of teachers D. Change in students 
and the correct answer is a change of power 27 france thinks will they make them sing in german even the pigeons he means that a germans will use brutal force over everyone b germans will force the pigeons to sing in german c germans will allow the pigeons to sing in french d germans will allow them to learn french the correct answer is a germans will use brutal force over everyone 28 the french people are the victims of a male chauvinism b racial discrimination c linguistic chauvinism and d slavery the correct answer is c linguistic chauvinism 29 vive la france shows m hamels a love for his country b respect for his country c patriotism and d all the above and the correct answer is d all the above the last question of the video 30th the last lesson symbolizes a loss of power b loss of language and freedom c loss of unity d loss of patriotism and the correct answer is b loss of language and freedom thank you for watching this video if you found it useful kindly like and subscribe to my channel